Right, joining me now is Dante Mills, attorney representing the family of Jordan Neely. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Dan. First, let me ask you, from your perspective, does it seem to you, based on the evidence, that this was done intentionally? How can you hold someone for 15 minutes and choke them? Uh, so he was trying to kill him. Your, your position is that the evidence is clear he was trying to kill him? So when you talk about that, what I want to put forward is you say he knew or should have known that choking him for 15 minutes would kill him. I can't tell you what was in his mind when he approached him. I can't do that, and I wouldn't try to do it. I'm not going to tell you why. I don't, uh, is it a race issue? I don't know. Uh, he, was, he was houseless. Uh, he seemed to have some mental issues. Is that a reason that, that forced Daniel Penny to feel like he had the authority to put his hands on him? I don't know. But I can tell you this. Danny Penny, Daniel Penny was not attacked. Daniel Penny was not hit. He wasn't fighting back. He's the one who began that fight. He came up from behind uh, Jordan, put him in a chokehold, and didn't let go for 15 minutes. Would you agree there can be situations where a subway or elsewhere where someone is acting out? Let's not even make it the facts of this case, where someone is acting out on a subway and people on that subway are feeling threatened and that someone else comes behind them and holds the person until the police gets there, puts their hand on someone else in a way that could be legitimate? If we look at it legally, what we want to see is, are you responding to force in kind? That's what the police have to do, and they have the authority to act. As a civilian, he has no authority. Who made him boss of that situation to protect to others? It? If someone's about From to punch what? some... No, I'm just saying, but I'm, I'm giving a hypothetical, right? Which is, if someone is going to attack someone else and someone else comes and protects that person, that person can't be legally charged for doing that, right? Yes. But here's, the, here's, here's how we want to look at it. Do we want to live in a society? Because we've all had bad days, right? Um, I've been, had, had a horrible day. Somebody cut me off and I cursed them out through the window or flip them the finger or something like that. If I do that, is that aggressive enough for someone to say, I thought he may do something to me, so I acted first. I killed him, right? Or I acted first because I thought there was a possibility that he may do something to me. Is that the society we want? I don't know if this is a comparison to Eric Garner or, or George Floyd because those are police officers who were tasked with acting. This is a civilian that's deciding that I have the right to put my hands on him and to hold him down for 15 minutes despite the fact that people are telling me you're going to kill him. Despite the fact that people are saying he, he, he defecated on himself, which is a sign that he's about to die, and you still don't listen to it. When, when you talk about sort of what kind of society do you want to live in? I think a lot of people want to live in a society where more people step up, right? More people help out. That doesn't necessarily justify. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I, I know I do. I want to live in a society where when people are threatened, that people step up and help. Absolutely, I want to live in that society. Now, what about if somebody's not trained and they, and they jump the gun or take matters into their even own if they're hands not, and even hurt if, more people? You know what? I, I'm still willing. On a subway, I can tell you that, and I, I'm not going to just make this about me, I can tell you the vast majority of people who ride the subways hope, and I'm going to guess here, would hope and wish that people would step in and help out more often. Now, that doesn't, answer the, that doesn't answer the question about what should happen here as a legal matter. So would you agree with me that the legal evaluation here should come down to how long did this incident go on? Because you've said 15 minutes. No. I would agree with you that if it went on for 15 minutes, that he's likely going to get charged with probably criminally negligent homicide, potentially manslaughter, second degree. But if it was seven minutes, then it becomes a different potential issue based on how much uh, resistance he may or may not have been getting with the other people there as well. No, and I'll just address two things in that. One, if you're saying we want vigilantes stepping up, what you're saying is I want people to jump in. That means I'm more important than the person that they're jumping in to yes, interact yes. with. Yes, the person who is creating the situation, yes. When someone creates a situation that puts other people reasonably in fear, I believe other people should step in. Absolutely. So I'll use that to say this is what I think should gauge it. Not how long. What happened beforehand? Yes. What caused him to decide to put his hands on uh, Mr. Neely when Mr. Neely didn't put his hands on Absolutely him? Absolutely agree with you. So That's Mr. Neely was, was making comments, right? Even, I'm hungry. I, I, I don't care if I go to jail. Even I want to die. That's not a threat to anybody else. He then takes his coat off and he has on a T-shirt so you can see he doesn't have a weapon. And he doesn't hit anyone. He doesn't approach anyone. But he's approached and put in a headlock from behind. 
that person may be the person that I'm more afraid of because he's willing to do anything to anybody because he thinks he's more important than them. Well, um, it sounds like we're agreeing on some of this, disagreeing on others, but uh, this is why you're so good at what you do. Uh, Dante Mills, thank you very much. Thank for you for having me. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.